Once again, we'd like to welcome you in today's edition of The Morning Call. The appointment of Abdel Kader Ben Salah as acting head of state in Algeria is yet to satisfy thousands of Algerians. Soon after Parliament confirmed his appointment, thousands of protesters took to the streets to express their anger since their demands of doing away with the old system has not been respected. According to them, Ben Salah is a part of the ruling order they have been seeking to remove. A key ally of former Former President Abdelaziz Bouteflika, the former Senate President, will rule the country for the next 90 days following the resignation last week of the long-serving ailing President and President uh, Abdelaziz Bouteflika. In shouting slogans of "Out with the system," the demonstrators, who have been pushing for a more radical change in Algeria, are unwilling to compromise in their demand for a new generation of leaders. Thousands of Algerian demonstrators have rejected the interim leader named Tuesday to replace former President Abdelaziz Bouteflika. They are demanding a radical change beginning with the dismantling of a political hierarchy which has led the North African country for two decades. Police allegedly doused student protesters with pepper spray within an hour of protests, time to coincide with the parliament's decision to appoint Upper House Chairperson Abdel Kadar Ben Salah as interim president. The decision accords with Algeria's constitution, but many people oppose Ben Salah because he's part of a ruling caste that has dominated Algeria since independence from France in 1962. Tariq Hafid is en ligne Tariq Hafid is online with us from Algiers to give us an update on yesterday's eventful day. Tariq, bonjour. Tariq, hello. Bonjour. Abdel Kader Ben Salah was finally appointed interim head of state despite street opposition. What were the reactions in Algiers? That is the capital, of course. It is official since yesterday morning, Abdel Kadir Ben Salah officially asserted to the status of head of state at the end of the meeting of the two chambers of parliament held at the Palais des Nations, that is west of Algiers. The ceremony was boycotted by the opposition party parliamentarians. It took place in two stages. First, there was a vacancy of the post of the President of the Republic, following the resignation of Abdelaziz Bouteflika on 2nd April. This observation made Abdel Kadir Ben Salah automatically become the head of state. Some members of parliament decided at this very moment to leave the chamber in order not to support this appointment. But that did not change anything at all. Ben Salah officially holds the orders of the Algerian House for a period of 90 days. The first reaction came from the streets. Thousands of students have openly denounced this enthronement through Algeria's major cities. In Algiers, the student march was violently repressed by the police. Politically, the reaction is unanimous. All parties and opposition figures have denounced Ben Salah's installation and maintenance as head of state. Some have even asked him to resign. And Tariq, this is an important stage in Algeria with the appointment of Ben Salah and marks the beginning of a transition period in the country. How will it be carried out, especially with the ongoing protests against the newly appointed acting head of state? L'article 102 de la Constitution is very clear. Article 102 of the Constitution is very clear. Ben Salah will assume the office of interim head of state for a maximum period of 90 days. During this period, he is expected to organize presidential elections, an election at which he will not be able to stand. Last night, in his first speech to the nation, Bouteflika's successor promised Algerians a president within the constitutional deadlines. He wanted to be confident by affirming that he wanted to set up a legal arsenal for the creation of an independent electoral commission. But his task will not be easy in the face of street pressure. Even though he has said he is reaching out to all those, to all, that is, to overcome the conflict. To finish, Tarif, as expected, the street rejected this decision. How do you expect the next few days will be in Algeria with uh, Ben Salah's uh, appointment? 
If there is one image that summarizes the current situation is that the new head of state was welcomed to the headquarters of the presidency of the republic by Abdelaziz Bouteflika's advisors. These are in fact the last men of his brother's side. So for Algerians, nothing has really changed. The political system is still the same, and the relays uh, of the former president's clan keeps their hands on the levers of power. The question now remains as to what the army's reaction will be, since it was a military institution that insisted on the application of Article 102 of the Constitution for the citizen movement. Thank you for all these details. Thank you. Uh, we'll obviously come back to you this coming days uh, for the developments. Pour une durée de 90 jours maximum, je le rappelle. Tarek Afid, correspondant Tariq Afid is an African 